Ariel Hawani in Houston, Texas for UFC 192 alongside Chris Carriasso who meets Sergio Pettis this Saturday on the FS1 prelims. Looking forward to this fight, Chris, and it's kind of interesting. We're here at this uh, media day and you have to sit right next to Sergio. Could they not have put you guys in different spots of the room? I, it, you know, I, I don't mind. I don't, it doesn't matter to me whether... Not the trash talking type. Nah, I never have been, so, uh, you know, I'll be right next to him, so it doesn't matter. How do you feel about this matchup? He's a big name, of course, because of his last name. Uh, stumbled recently, but there's always buzz when he fights. Were you happy when you were offered it? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, they, they offered me the fight, and I was like... Yeah, I, I want that fight. I don't know if uh, you know, but I, I'll, I'll take that fight for sure. <laughs> and, and, and how do you feel about him? Like, do you feel like he gets too much attention because of his name? That got a lot of buzz coming into the UFC. Do you feel like he's overhyped at all? You know, um, definitely. I think he's hyped up. You know, I think that uh, he, um, you know, he, he definitely has that buzz. But uh, I don't know. I don't really look into it too much, you know, it's just kind of one of those things that uh, I just kind of look at the fighter themselves versus uh, what everything else is saying. Are you impressed with his skill set? Yeah, man, he's tough. He's a definitely a high up and coming guy, you know, and, and uh, but, you know, I'm the perfect guy to go and kill that game. So what did you make of his last fight where it looked like he was he was doing well and then stumbled greatly towards the end? What did you take away from that? You know, uh, I kind of kind of see it as like a pattern in some of his fights. You know, uh, you know he kind of comes off doing well, and then uh, you know he he if you can go and you can break him, and you know he he breaks. Hmm. So you think that that's something that he's susceptible to? Yeah, I think so. So how do you do that? How do you recreate that on Saturday? Uh, you know, I got to go out there, stay in his face, and uh, you know I got to land more than he lands. Of course. That's the name of the game. You know, um, prior to your last fight, you were, you were very open about the experience fighting for the belt and, and how things kind of got screwy in your mind just moments before because of what Joe Rogan was saying on television. Do you feel like you are over that experience, sort of the, the bad taste that came along with it? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, it was, it was a growing experience, you know, and, uh, you know, even coming after, off of my fight with, after Henry, you know, uh, it was still kind of was uh, affecting me, but, uh, you know, I... I got back in the gym like immediately after the fight, and I was I was training, and you know I kind of been training ever since, and and uh, you know constantly getting myself ready for for this day. How have you been able to shed that from your mind, your body, your soul? You know, uh, it actually took me watching the fight. I didn't actually watch my fight with Demetrius until about uh, about three or four weeks ago. You wow. know, so. Uh, Finally, when I went back and I actually sat down and, and watched the fight and, uh, uh, you know, I kind of saw how I was doing, you know, kind of changed my perspective on everything. And, you know, so I really went back and, you know, kind of went and saw, all, watched all my fights. I actually went, went back and watched them all and, you know, the ones I lost, the one I won and, and uh, you know, and, and it really just kind of, Kind of brought it back to me as saying like you know what you 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 are as good as you think you are you needed that that uh sort of reassurance to regain your confidence yeah totally needed that you know uh, I, once i watched that again i was like yeah uh, you, you are a good fighter so uh go out there and and uh go out and do what you know how to do and what you love to do what did you learn from watching the dj fight for the first time uh you know um it's like uh, I came out there. I actually came out pretty well, you know. Um, and uh, you know, he kind of hurt me in the in the end, right at the end of the first round. I remember he kneed me in the face, and then uh, and uh, I remember that kind of shocked me a bit, and and I, and I didn't rebound from that. But uh, and and I think that like kind of mentally broke me in a sense, and and. Uh, you know, and, and that's what it used to take was like that hard shot. Then I'd be like, all right, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. I'm ready to fight now. Okay. And, and uh, you know, so, um, you know, just kind of watching that fight just rem reminded me of like what, what I needed to do to go out there and, uh, and what I need to do to win. Well, I'm happy you're back on track. Looking forward to this fight very much. It's a great one. Best of luck to you. Thank you very much.